Well, hello there, everybody. Welcome back to the stream. Jason Hots here. And I'm picking up where we left off quite a few days ago. It's been a little while since we last played Baldur's Gate. Well, it's actually been one week since we played Baldur's Gate, but it's been even longer since we last played our Paladin run with Kellenteer. Uh, we've been on a little bit of a hiatus uh, from Baldur's Gate. Also, I haven't been streaming quite as frequently as I have been for this, but all the same. Good to be streaming with you guys tonight. This should be a good lengthy little session. Might have to take a break in the middle, but a little, a little break. But got both my kitties laying with me. My big boy Calicos just came and sat down. Hey, Kylie. Well, that was quick. You were like, oh, hey, he's finally alive again. I'm going to watch. All right, so last we left off in this playthrough, we had just killed this guy. Nope, not that guy. That guy, near. And cut off his head. And we had already talked to the dwarves. And we had some looting to do. Well, to be fair, I haven't streamed a whole lot the last few days. Um, that's not all your fault. I, I did a couple of streams on Sunday, but um, Friday night I took my niece and nephew out to Pokemon, and I didn't get back till like 10 o'clock or so, and I was just too tired to stream, so I took Friday night off, and then Saturday, honestly, I just didn't feel like it, you know? That's really what it comes down to, is I just... Much as I love streaming, and I love playing video games, I just didn't feel like it. So, so I didn't do it. Weird as that is. I've also kind of decided to, um... Oh yeah, these are so good. So these are the best in slot boots for anybody. Um, can't, be, can't be in webbed, or entangled, or ensnared, and can't slip on ice, and you get Misty Step as a bonus action. Nier has the best boots in the game. Bar none. So ideal for a melee uh, person. So definite, and a definite upgrade on you cannot phone or fall prone while traversing icy terrain. Because, I mean, you can't slip on grease or ice. I mean, that's in there. So, you know, it's it's the same boots, except it has a shit ton more stuff. Which makes sense. It's a legendary item. Anyway, what I was going to try to do was uh, get rid of some of the weighty stuff here and send it back to camp. Because I am overloaded. All right, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to teleport back to the Myconoid colony because uh, we got to give him the uh, head back. Oh, and I forgot I forgot to talk to her because she also has some pretty cool boots. Did I get the click heel boots? Mom, will you put the kettle on? I want to chat. Just ask. Sure, I'll do an investigation check. Why not? Oh, okay. Not like this. Uh, I got four inspiration. Why not? Let's do it again. Oh, and I rolled a one on the guidance die. Come on, I can do this. There we go. Sixteen. That will do. Mostly junk. But her boots catch your eye. Hmm. How did you end up here? Myconids. Oh, oh, 
took pity on me. Sound, lads. Especially since the Greys gave them hell for it. These Mykonids are the hospitable sort. Refreshing. After our run-in with Quagga. Dwega! Ugh! Slashed me! Oh, poison! Let's see if we can figure out what's going on with that. Oh, yeah, we can. 20. Like dwarves, Dwegar have innate resistance to poison, and thus no need for intricate brews. Though deadly, if left untreated, the poison can be cured by the antidote or natural remedies. Okay. Well, then we'll give her the antidote. That is, I needed it. Why are you helping me? There has to be a reason. Down here? Tends to be. But I'm nearly good to get on my feet. I thank you for your help, but I gotta get moving. Oh, it hurts. Carl's garters. Oh, I don't have time for this. My kin need me. Take it easy and tell me what I can do. Seems you're the helping kind. All right. I need you to rescue my kin. Not charity, mind. We can pay. We're Iron Hand Clan. Best artificers in Baldur's Gate. We were on an expedition down here when the Dwergar snatched us up. I got away, but not the others. The Greys have them digging out some old ruin across the lake. What was this expedition your clan were on? Just mining for materials. Nothing unusual. But our work pays well. Oh, Help my clan and I we'll missed make it the insight. I swear. All right, now for your people if I can. Thank you. Only wish I could go with you. But here. I nabbed these boots from the Greys when I ran. I'll feel better knowing you're using them to kick some Dwegger ass. I'll mark where I made my escape, and uh, wait here, I suppose. Not much choice, eh? Nope. Not much choice. But, we just got the best in slot boots uh, for anybody. But, the boots of speed are also really good for anybody. So it gives you a uh, bonus action dash. So we can look at what everyone else is wearing. Um, like the line breaker boots. They're not that great. Um, the water sparkers are also not that great. The Gale tends to use his bonus action less, so I'm going to give him the boots. Because Will usually uses his bonus action for Hex. On my way. He's over here getting Hexy all the time. Peace bringer. Be mean to have Gale Time's talk to him. It's my job. I'm the leader. Peace bringer, be at home. I slain the creature called Gut. It was scheming to slaughter your circle. You are one with Spore. Your throat tightens, then relaxes. The air is serene, your mind untroubled. The songs we sing now carry your spirit. I first named you Peace. Bringer, I now name you Kin Spirit. All right, so from Peace Bringer to Kin Spirit. All right. Peace Bringer. Wait, no, I thought I was Kin Spirit. And here's Nair's head, as you requested. The Drow sought to shatter our circle. Now his flesh may feed its growth. In dealing death, you have brought this circle life. 
and thus we name you Life Chanter. Man, will you make up your mind? Gonna be rivaling uh, Daenerys Stormborn here. As our circle Mother grows, of Dragons, Breaker so of Chains, Felicia of the Great Grass Sea. Listen, and you may hear it. The Unburnt. Don't waste a step. Okay, so what? What is this? Voice of the Circle. Ooh. Grants an ally plus two bonus to persuasion checks. It's kind of cool. But it's not better than the parapet of wound control. I don't really want to give the parapet of wound pleasure to anybody else. That's such a cool, that's such a cool necklace for Gale. I mean, this doesn't, this is not going to help Chatter Art at all, sadly. Yeah, the spider silk armor is the exact same as the drow studded leather. Except that the spider silk armor gives him an advantage on constitution saving throw checks, which also includes concentration checks for his spells. So it's just straight up better. Uh, let's go do some trading while we're yes. over. Yeah. Not, no one not me with yet. him, technically. Her do the trading. Welcome back. Have you made any new discoveries? I do enjoy a good bargain. If anything in my private collection is to your liking. Let's see. The Baneful. This blade's magical power only functions if it's bound to an Eldritch Knight or it's or it's a Warlock Pact weapon. Okay, so this is something, this is a short sword that's meant to go for um, like a Pact of the Blade Warlock, which we, we have one of those, to be fair. Right now his Pact weapon is the Unseen Menace, which is pretty good. Nice thing about this, though, is as a main hand, he would also be able to use a shield. So plus two AC. Anyway, uh, let's see. But as plus one bonus to damage, attack and damage rolls. Oh, and on hit, possibly bane your target. So hold on, is it a plus two then? Since so it's, it's a plus one short sword and then with favor, favored weapon, does it do an additional plus one? Weird. Why not just make? Why not just make it a plus two weapon? Why does it be so confusing? But yeah, I mean technically it's so. So the fact that it says on the bottom not proficient with martial weapons or short swords. It doesn't matter because um, once you bind to to it as a pack weapon, it you're automatically um, able to use it. I don't think it's any better than the unseen menace. I think we're gonna stick with that Ike. But for now. Ahead and sell him some stuff. We don't have anybody in our party who's using um, on 
see actually. It's all the potion either. Yeah, nobody in our party is using the arrows. Sell all of those. You know, actually, we could give these to Will. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'll sell these instead. Because then he can't slip on icy terrain. That is actually better than what he has currently. Did already get her uh, Blood of Lathander, which is nice. That's the main reason to go into the Gift Yankee crash. It's for the life binder. Yeah, close enough. Very well. Wonder if the gods are watching me. All right. So at this point, I think we're kind of done down here. I think we already did everything up at the Gift Yankee Crash. What level are we now? Level six. That's pretty good. Level 6 is a good level to go ahead and move on to Act 2. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go to the Grim Forge. Jog. Of course I do. Why do you ask? I ask, because you ain't getting far without one of them pixie lamps. Top lands are clogged with the death dark. Choke you in no time. I keep that in mind. Go on. Get some air. I'll give it a shot. Alrighty. Moving ahead. Maybe I need more pockets. Now I've always wondered what would happen if I attacked him. Probably not a good idea to attack attack a level twenty character, Elminster. It is an option. You know what? Why not? For science. Just because I've never done it before. I want to see what happens. Shouldn't have made me your enemy. Sort of fight. And now you have. Okay. Oh, Sunbeam. Okay, fair enough. Oh no, he's super smart. With haste. Oh no, I didn't realize he's out of spells. Blade will not bend. 
Smart move, old man. Two steps at a time. Sorry, Will. Too far out there, my man. Sometimes the only way out is through. Like here, this is objectively my most powerful spell. Need to stay focused. I don't fancy their chances. Night to keep. He was the smart one and got out of line of sight. Oh, Mister got so much health. Apparently, he's got a really high con constitution saving throw. That also makes sense. Concentrate. Moving. Uh, let's see. What now? Let's have her go first. He did not get hit by One that. One day, I'll catch a break. It's fair play, old man. spell. Let's see. I should have come in here with more spells ready. that concentration going. Nothing will stand in my way. Hmm. I'll try one of these. Is 
I replace the slow condition? No. Another day, another fight. Oh, not the freezing spear. Damn. I cannot take much more. All right, Elminster, it's coming down to the wire. Damn. Really? Suddenly he's just super dodgy? Fine. Oh, no, she's still up. We're good. There we go. There's the critical hit. One can't always be a gentleman. Yeah, I'll take him out. Okay. Hold up. What happened? He just turned to dust? Really? Where'd he go? <laughs> All right, well, apparently that's what happens when you kill Alamister. He turns to dust and disappears. Not how I wanted you to open. I should get some rest. I need to keep sharp. Weird. Let's have a look. Well, we're going to go back and undo that because I do actually want to do Gale's stuff with Alminster. But I was just very curious what would happen if you did kill Alminster. Apparently you don't kill him. You just... I wonder, it was that... Was that him turning into, like, snow? Like a, like a little... Like, is, is this a simulacrum of Alminster? Discussion. <laughs> Who there was? Stay thy course a moment to indulge an old man. Elminster? The very same, Gale. And a fair bit miffed he is, too. Finding himself forced to expose his best pair of boots to so many miles of country road on your behalf. I think some proper introductions are in order. Meet Elminster Ormar. A good friend of mine, but rather more significantly, he's the most famed and respected wizard in the realms. Am I, indeed? Most famed and respected errand boy, more like. I was bid to spare neither time nor my own self to find you. She sent me, Gale. You know of whom I speak. But why? Out with it! Elminster, please. Young man, has your sojourn away from Bordity washed away your decorum as well as your patience? Nigh a ten day I've gone without honest fare, worthy of the name, drank naught, but what the sky entitled my thirst. Why, some bread, cheese, and a cup of wine would appear unto me a feast. Surely you will begrudge me a mite of rest and repast before I get out with it. Yes, Gail, where's your decline? Oh, for the love of... Uh, well, this way then. Hmm. To your camp. Oh, go dawdle now, lad. You're the one who's in such a frightful hurry. Oh. Nigh on 13 centuries old, and he still thinks with his stomach. We'd best follow and see if he's more disposed to speak plainly once it's stopped its grumbling. Very well. A wise choice. Better to indulge your curiosity than Elminster's appetite. Mm, yes, what a delightful wedge of old Elf Turin that was. Doesn't do to parlay on an empty stomach. Makes one's words frivolous when they should be grave. 
Plenty to digest, after all. A good deal to stew over, if you will. Words ladled with import should be savored so as to better absorb their meaning. Wouldn't you agree? Alminster. Right. Um... You see... Gail, my boy, I've come to address a most pressing matter. I'll speak as plainly as I can, forswearing the accustomed frills that decorate my speech. I'm here on behalf of Mistra. The message and the charge I bring you are hers. What message and what charge would that be? The long-awaited question. Now, if you please, Elminster, for the too long-awaited answer. You know where you went wrong, Gail. No, we needn't dwell on that here and now. But even so, you're to be given a chance of redemption. Mistra would consider forgiveness. She would consider what she considers to be forgiveness. Mistra is aware of the misadventures that have befallen you both. She knows of your strife with the absolute, that most insidious of evils. Goddess of herself is aware. I wouldn't say no to some divine intervention. The very purpose of my presence in a roundabout sort of way. You must know that the absolute is more dangerous than you can possibly conceive. That is why I have come here to charge you, Gale, with its destruction. It is Mistress' belief that only you can. Mister is mistaken. I'll be the absolute's destroyer. I doubt not your conviction, but Gale has an unnatural advantage. The all. Precisely. Mistra has granted me the power to stop the clock, as it were, on the orb's rush to overpower you. Instead, you will be able to unleash its lethal combustion at will. Now you better not Understand. unleash it at will. Kill you. This could be help or hindrance. We shall have to see. You must find the heart of the absolute, whatever that may be, and use yourself as the uh, catalyst that will burn it from this world. That's monstrous. You're asking him, you're tasking him to kill himself. He is not. But it seems that Mistra is. It brings me no pleasure saying this, my friend. But such is Mistra's will. With that, I've said my sorry piece. It is done. To you, I commit into care Gale himself. I count on you to shepherd him well on this strangest of journeys. Be a long journey ahead. We'll find another way. Or some other fortune altogether. Like moons make swell and wane the nescient seas, so too the sky-strewn gods ordain the tidal fates of mortal days. And yet, a notion born in lonely hours, come ebb, come flow, come all that is beyond the breadth of our dominion. Be a moon unto yourself. Even the waves of fate can break upon the shores of will. Farewell, my friend. Farewell, Elminster. I'm glad she chose you. All right. Well, there's Will's An audience stuff. with Elminster is never less than memorable. I'd have hoped to introduce you to him in less dire circumstances. But those are hard to come by these days. I 
Actually, I was hoping to talk to you about something else. No comment on a visit for the finest wizard in the realms. The famed Elminster of legend and lore. <laughs> <laughs> you are hard to impress. So, what did you wish to speak about? Uh, nothing. At the present time. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll leave camp. Need to find a way forward. And actually, I think as we go here, we just automatically end up taking a long rest. Oh, maybe not. Take it all back. Those shadows. There's power coursing through them. Oddly familiar. Better stay on alert. Okay, so So let's look at our torches here. One, two, Will. Gale is going to be our main torch bearer for the moment. Ready and willing. Step by step. Looking ahead. If not over, then through. I can feel the shadows falling. Please run. How meek. The shadow curse. Seem to affect me like it does others. This must mean she is protecting me. I worship Shah, the Dark Lady, Mistress of the Night, and this must mean I have her blessing. She loves me. She must do. What does all this mean? Lady Shah wouldn't bless me like this for no reason. Those signs we found about Dark Justicias, perhaps they were no coincidence. Come on, Gail, keep up, man. Hmm. these guys hanging so far back. Come on. Get up here. Please. Jesus. Breathe deep and move. Eyes open. Watch the shuttle. There we go. Stay together. Keep to the light. Stop! Who's there? Paladin. The one who will only take you down if you're foolish enough to strike first. Whether we attack or not depends entirely on you, love. Come into the light. Hands high. Jonas, 
Move in. Why do you have to be so far out there, Jonas? Jonas! Jonas? Can you see our torch? I can't see anything! Some, something's wrong. Follow my voice. Come back to the light. Who's there? Meg? Jonas. Jonas is gone, all that remains is a monster. When I attempt to kill. Harpers, you heard the woman. Two arms! Alright. That's, that one's a friendly, but this one only strikes them. But it also let the brazier, so it'll light the brazier. Nice. Gives us some light to work with down there. Don't get too close. on Gale. Why is he running out there where he gets hit by the shadow curse? Make any sense. Okay. Let's throw a little daylight out here. Health on a misclick. Feels bad. Where I go? Oh well. No holding back. Making a move. that next turn. Forgot. Sure, why not? this uh what I want to take that off the, off the board but 
I, it looked like it was going to make me move there and then explode. Nope, nope, that's, that's not, that's not it. That's not the thing I want to do. Select. Don't go away from me. Alright, so let's have her run over here and we are going to turn undead. Woo! Good spell. That's not all of them. Well done. Oh, but that, you know, now we've got to move. That. I know a safe place. Give me your map. Keep your torch high. If you step into the shadows, you'll be felled in a heartbeat. A place? You mean there's somewhere where the shadows can't penetrate? That's right. Protected by magic. Only spot in the region that's not been swallowed up by this damn curse. Light will save you here on the outskirts, but a few paces deeper, you're screwed. If you want to catch your breath, the inn's the only place to do it. Hope to see you there. Harpers, move out! All right. Got another couple of torches here. I only really need one now for me. We're finally gonna make our way down to the last light in. This place is protected. Must be the refuge the Harpers spoke of. You there! Step forward and keep your hands off your weapons. Easy! She's with me. Come. Jahira! Name directly out of Baldur's Gate lore. You're here. At least you're here. I'm no threat. I'm bound by oath to not harm the innocent. Ha! Well, I am certainly no innocent, Paladin. So I'll bind you with vines a moment longer, if you do not mind. This is why we're here, you see. It is a curious creature that hides all manner of secrets. But if there's one thing that we know, That it knows its own kind. You should never have come here, true soul. Not a true soul. She's the one who protected the Emerald Grove. 
Yup. Didn't leave a goblin standing. Not so bad to hang around with either. Say two of my friends. One from a harpy and one from a mad druid with a snake. Didn't make a fuss of our thieving either. I'd pretty much trust her with my life. A true soul with a mind of her own? How is that possible? Because of this artifact. What in the hell is that thing? So far, it's been a lifesaver. Here's hoping you agree. Mm. More or less. Congratulations. You've earned yourself the benefit of the doubt. Hear me, Harpers. All clear. At ease. I'll not pretend to understand what that artifact is. But I'm old and wise enough to recognize a sliver of hope when it crawls out of the dark. Tell me. Why have you come here? Destroy the Absolute and his glare, Moonrise Towers. Then you found an ally in me. For that is precisely why I am here. There's food in the inn over there. Beds too, if you require rest. Aloe oil in the cupboard, in case the vines gave you a rash. Settle in. Then come join me for a drink. You may just be the godsend we've been praying for. Alright. So now that we're in here, we don't need the torches anymore. This is a protected place. So let's re-equip all of our weapons before we go shopping and accidentally sell all of our stuff. something to ask yeah. Yeah. stock up while you can I only hope I've brought enough to see us through cheeky there we go we'll take ourselves if you're all right an extra by Jahira, supply party you're all right by me supply pack rather so let's send this to Gail And actually, let's send all this stuff to Gale. So yeah, she's got a really couple of really cool things. Uh, the mighty cloth, really good for barbarians. Um, the, the the incandescent staff really one of the first good um, spellcaster staffs and then the anti scale mail is really good for dexterous um, uh, you know medium armor wearers I, I don't think any of our party defender of the people is gonna wear it yeah because will's not proficient with with it, nor is Gale. And like, I don't... It's not gonna help me. 
because I didn't spec into into decks. Um, Shadowheart could use it, but it's really not any better for her because you know, her dex is also not super high. So scan L plus one, basically the same. We just we don't have really anybody to use it. It's really good for rangers. Shield of Devotion. You know, it's not bad, but I don't think it's really worth the money. Um, that's not the end of the good stuff she has, though. Defender's Great Axe. Really good for big two-handers. Um, but Cloak of Protection is an automatic buy. It's the first cloak we really get access to the two in the game. That's, that's like, really, really strong. Uh, this one's good for... Uh, Two weapon fighters. Amulet of the Harpers is pretty good. The pride of the gate. Yeah, she can use that. She's got a plus one short sword. It's pretty good. Arrows. All kinds of good spell scrolls. So, right now these two items, 780. Um, when I'm dealing with Kalantir. But you can see, uh, both, that's all from Persuasion being plus 6. Uh, but we can go ahead and increase the attitude. We're going to do a lot of trading with Quartermaster Tali throughout this act. Um, she is only here in this one act. But it's still totally worth it. I don't know what this even is. This strange chunk of amber. So let's start with about a thousand. We're going to go ahead and invest in getting our attitude up by donating. Now that thousand did most of it. So 350 or so to do the rest. Ninety-nine. So close. There we go. So now we can see there's a much bigger discount, fifty-four percent. So that's not going to save me a ton of money on this deal. Seven eighty. So it saved me a little over a hundred. We invested thirteen hundred to get a hundred gold discount right now, but that's also going to counterbalance. With the fact that we've now funded her, so she's got gold that we can then use to sell her stuff. And because we've made that investment, now she'll buy our stuff for me. So we're going to eventually get, get all of that gold back. He's what I'm trying to say. And let's not forget that we have a mountain of stuff back at the camp to sell. So we'll start with this. Take care now. And let's go back to the camp real quick. And take a look at this giant mountain of stuff. I guess this doesn't automatically put all the food in there. Kind of a bummer. No. That's not really what I meant to do. I'll put that on, though. Hard over that. Where 
did my hammer go? So we don't have to worry about overloading ourselves or anything. Um, standing right in front of the vendor. So, we're just gonna immediately sell everything anyway. And the rest will send, start sending to other people to carry. Okay, we can still sell it out of their inventory. Killing a lot of people for all those, all that armor and all those weapons. All right. Now we will leave camp. If you're all right by Jahira. You're all right by me. So there we go. Power up to 9k. Not bad. Um, I think we're going to get this. Well, let's see. Do we want that for Gale? Instead of the Knife of the Undermountain King? I think we do. Got somebody else over here. I need a quick word. It's Damon. I thought it was you. Saving my skin again. I'm glad to see you're all right. A makeshift Harper's fire might not be where I hope to set up shop. But maybe I've got something you can use anyway. And if you find any interesting materials in need of working. I'm happy to help. I what do you mean? hesitated to mention this back in the Druid's Grove when Elturel was dragged into Avernus. 
I was drafted into a devil's smithy. I can sense some. Smell it almost. If you find it, bring it to me. I'll make something incredible. All right, so let's see what he's got here. He actually sold some infernal iron. I forgot that he could use that to make weapons. But he's got another Warhammer. This one's a plus one. Yeah. But it only functions... Okay, yeah, it only functions for Warlocks. Never mind. I don't have any ranged characters this game. This one's kind of interesting. Albert. Nah. We're gonna stick with the Warhammer for this act. I got that scale mail plus one. Um yeah, he doesn't really have anything we want. I'll be here if you need anything. Have a nice, fun little interaction over here. We need to talk. Your move, Maul. You trap me. I didn't even want to take this one. Kalim Shan rules, dear. The first piece touched is the first piece moved. That's garbage. No matter where the night goes, I'm gonna lose it. Then make the sacrifice useful. Guard your mistra, or come for my Cyric. Look who made it! For once, I saved your butt out there, didn't I? Where's Square now, Chief? Say, do you play Lance Ball by any chance? It's my first time playing. Always laid a fine trap for you, Mole. It looks to me like his Cyric could be dethroned. Yells right. Put the pressure on him. Attack the pieces in front of a Cyric. My, the Thescan double counter gambit. Vicious. <laughs> exactly what I would have done. How's that for Callum Sham rules? Brava. Lovely work. I see I was right to make you the offer I did. You will consider it, won't you? What a lovely specimen she is. A blushing apple begging to be plucked. The Thescan move suggestion was inspired. I had no idea you played. Is that why you're here? To play games? To play the game. The vast lance board of souls. But don't you worry about Maul. It goes without saying. She still has the unconditional freedom to choose the only option she has left. Besides, I do enjoy being in this neighborhood again. It has such a rich history of abject tragedy. And tragedy, my friend. <laughs> well, there's my bread and bloody butter. Just stay away from Molly here. She won. She has a taste for it now. <laughs> She'll be the one who comes to me. But enough about my lesser pursuits. Why bother with trifles when I'm in the illustrious presence of my very favorite client? Tell me, oh apple of my eye, how have you been? You don't have any gills to get green around yet, but you do look a little worse for wear in this light. You know, I've never been better. Splendid. And yet... 
I have this picture in my head of you tossing and turning in the middle of the night, thinking strange things, dreaming strange dreams. And there's this little voice inside of you asking, is this my will or is it the worms? But you have no answer and no way of knowing. The good thing is, though, there's only one little voice you really should listen to. Mine. See you soon. Damn, I had next. What the hell? Will's got something to say to us now. A blushing apple begging to be plucked? Mm, Raphael's angling for the girl's soul. We need to warn her away from Raphael before it's too late. Mm, we should at least try. The girl's as bold as a lamb cavorting in a lion's den. But... I think she's clever enough to flee before the jaws close around her neck. One way or another, she'll see there's no winning Raphael's game, and she'll walk away. For her sake, I hope you're right. Should the child take even a small step towards independence, she'll be punished. And should that come to pass, death is the most pleasant outcome that fell bastard would give her. Let's see, what's, what's my approval rating here? Pretty high up with Will. Even further with Gale. Let's get on with it. And yeah, Shadow Heart's very middle of the road for us. Go ahead and do our long rest now. We're low on spell slots. Take a rest while we're here in the end. Uh oh. Playtime's over, Pep. What do you want, Mizora? Drop the attitude and perk up your ears. You've got a new mission. We Absolute cult really? has gone and grabbed one of Zariel's assets. A devil. And a powerful one at that. They're locked up in the cult's fortress, Moonrise Towers, and you're getting him out. This devil's so powerful, but how did they manage to get captured? Well, your playmate's wasting precious time. Let's see about getting her priorities fixed. <clears throat> Clause Z, Section 13. Should promised soul refuse obeyance or neglect duty, the pact holder shall cast the promised into a vernus as a lemur. I'll make it simple. Will fails or refuses, and he turns to a thick blob of stink flesh and sinks to a vernus. Now. Be a good boy and play fetch, pup. Or you'll spend an eternity sizzling in the hells. Mizora's words may be flippant, but they are tinged with desperation. She cannot afford for Will to fail this mission. This may be your best chance to negotiate Will out of his pact. We'll rescue your asset on one condition. Oh, and what condition is that? Your mind links with Wills, drawn in by his increasing panic. What are you doing? Trust me. Will relaxes, and your connection fades. We'll rescue the asset if you release Will from his pact. Interesting. Now, why should I go letting my favorite pet off his leash? There we go. You can always let the cult infect the asset. Bet they'd make a loyal thrall. There we go. What do you do? Incredible. You actually think you hold the winning hand. Fine. 
I'll play your game. But I amend the pact once the mission's done, not before. Clause F, Section 9. Soulbinder shall bestow reward or favor only upon soul bearers' fulfillment of related obligation. Now, to Moonrise, pet. And do mind the shadows. They've been especially hungry. Father, can I go? I should speak up. You know, I feel a connection between us. You might be a little naive in the ways of the world, but I see promise in you. Ambition. I thought you hated me. <laughs> Such a strong word. We have our differences, but we don't have to, do we? I just worry that we're not considering all our options when it comes to our uninvited guests. How many people are infected with them, do you think? Hundreds? Thousands? And they're not just goblin trash. There are powerful people in the worm's thrall. Whoever's waiting for us at Moonrise Towers controls it all. But if we can take that control from them, imagine the power we'd wield. Evil power? We won't do it. Power is just a tool. It's people that are good or evil. And even they can be a little bit, um... I'm just saying, there's an opportunity here. If we can control the tadpoles, we can keep ourselves safe and liberate the world from this evil. No, absolutely not. So much for thinking you had ambition. Still, we're not there yet. Maybe you'll see the light yet. The talk to wheel. The more bullshit she pours, the more of it I'm forced to swallow. Mazora set me on fiends inside and outside the hells. She's never ordered a rescue. Gods. She makes a mockery of everything the blade stands for. Such an asshole. She'll be gone soon enough. Do this mission and Mazora will, Mazora will free you from your pact. Thank you for sticking your neck out for me. I mean it, but... I'm not going to celebrate till I'm actually free. Can already feel her scheming. She won't let me go without a fuss. Trust me on this. Like you have a choice. Do the mission or rot in the house. Not just rot. I'd have to fight. One of those mindless blobs clawing at demons on the front lines of the blood war. not going to happen. You mean too much to the sword coast. And it means everything to me. I always knew what my future held. And I know I chose right. <clears throat> Alright. The shadow curse is upon us. As foul as I remember it. But with the Oak Father's blessing, we may soon see it banished from these lands. Alright. Nothing really there. We'll do our long rest. The voice of the Absolute is strong here. I don't know how much longer I can resist. But it's good to see you're making progress. You took an unexpected route here. You did a brave thing. Saving those people in the grove. Wasn't even a choice. They needed my help. Not everyone would have helped. It just 
doesn't stop. We are being bombarded by waves of telepathic energy. Wave after wave with hardly a breath between them. Each wave a set of orders to the infected. The order for your transformation has been given many times already. My transformation? Yes. But the orders are oddly erratic. As if the Absolute cannot make up its mind. I don't fully understand. In any case... The Absolute knows you carry me with you now. It wants to retrieve me. Oh, I'll let that happen. I know. I am the only one who can resist the Absolute's influence. Unfortunately, that also means it is dedicating more and more resources to my retrieval. The task ahead is monumental. It's mental. between victory for the absolute and freedom for all. This is not just about you and I anymore. It has become far bigger than us. You must infiltrate Moonrise Towers, discover the secrets of the absolute, and put an end to it. So we can finally be free. Now I must rest. All right. You go ahead and rest and let me sleep finally. dog wags his tail, a small bag clenched between his teeth. He gives in and surrenders his fine tooth. Nice. Potion healing. Scratch's tongue lolls out happily, his tail wagging even faster. Alrighty. Ah, quite the cozy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. He's got blights and wall of fire. Wall of fire is pretty good. A little blight, actually. We'll take both of those. And the potions. Oh, thank you. And drink one of these. Let's make sure we get our scrolls to our main man, Gale. Ah, you. Hello, Barkus. How are things? How are things? How are things? Well. I've been through worse. I'll soon be off to Moonrise Towers to look for my friend, Walbrin. I, I understand you might be headed in that direction as well. You understand correctly, but it would be suicide for you to go near that place. Don't threaten me with a good time. My search for Walbrin has been one quagmire after another. As you know, still, a friend is a friend. And Wilbrin won't last long in a place as dreadful as the towers. Hmm. 
keep on to Moonrise Tower too. Why don't you let me look for him? You wouldn't even know what he looks like. Then again, my track record is, well, discouraging. It's settled. You stay here, I'll search the towers. That's very decent of you. But I won't stand idle. I've spotted an alchemist's scales and had already been cooking up a little something that might help against those cult. I'll get to work on the brilliant retort. You get to work at the towers. Deal? Deal. Very good. Very good. Very good indeed. Now, you off to your uh, th heroism, uh, as it were. Some of us are counting on you. Many, I would wager. Let's see. He still won't speak. Just keeps going with the bloody song. Nothing of use on his person. His original writ of duty, signed by Eltan himself. He must know something. Let's not give up on him yet. Florik. Will? Guards, please, no. The Blade of Frontiers was supposed to be my secret weapon. We believe the cultists have taken your father to Moonrise Towers. I don't suppose you found a way in? Not yet. I trust you will do everything you can to free the Duke. But in case you don't find a way, I'll be heading to Baldur's Gate to seek reinforcements. The Council sent a carrier pigeon with news that the city has been dealing with absolutist attacks. The Steel Watch is holding strong. I'll request that Lord Gortash send some of them to aid in the fight against Moonrise. The curse won't harm them. Gortash, as in Enver Gortash? Last I knew, he was a minor player in city affairs. A lot's changed since you left Baldur's Gate, Will. Gortash has gained considerable influence since then. You're leaving? Oh, the Duke Raven Guard is still captured in Moonrise? My role here is limited. I can be put to better use convincing the Council to send reinforcements to help rescue the Duke. With the Steel Watch at our backs, we can storm the tower, whatever Kethrick throws at us. I'm sure of it. I'll do my best, but there's every chance I'll fall to the curse or the cult before I reach the city. Don't count on me and assume no aid is coming. Work with Jahira. That harper's mind is as sharp as her blade. Follow her guidance. Farewell. We'll meet again, God's willing. Flame color. That's your name, isn't it? Art color? Mm -hmm. We... We need you, sir. One of our own's been taken. We found him out in the shadows. This is no physical ailment. It is a spiritual malaise. The man's mind has been gripped by the shadow fell. Yet it has not broken. Go get that quest started please be welcome have a drink to your very good health your very good health Well over a century old, and yet it hasn't lost a hint of flavor. Still not quite so sure about you, though. People tend to lose more than just flavor when illithids get their hands on them. I speak from experience. There's an air about you. Something alien. Answer me true, and do not lie. The parasite is changing you. Isn't it? Yeah, the parasite is giving me powers I've never had before. It's changed me for the better. Look around you. 
Good men, good women. Stranded here, two feet in the grave. If we're to survive, I have no choice but to trust you. Can I? You can trust me. Good. Because I'll cross your heart myself if you break it. I have every reason to be cautious. I've traced people like you. People with parasites in their brains. All the way here from Baldur's Gate. The cult of the Absolute is spreading through the city. Quietly, quickly, and with unsettling deliberation. We tracked them to this ancient village, only to be faced with a man we killed and buried over a century ago. Who was he? General Cadric Thorn. Remember that name. He's the leader of the Absolutists. He was a Sharan once. Took to building an army of dark justiciers beneath this very village. Alongside the local druids, we made it our business to see him deposed, dead and buried. But he's returned. Not only does General Cadric Thorn live again, it seems he is no longer mortal. He has become, in fact, invincible. We met him on the road here. Commanding an army of the Absolute, intent on destroying Baldur's Gate. I put an arrow through his eye myself. Only to watch him pluck it out like a splinter. He healed, right in front of me, and chased us into the shadows. Things looked hopeless. But experience has taught me that no matter how bleak things look, there's always hope. You are that hope. Think I can kill him? Not immediately. Protected by your artifact, you can infiltrate his forces at Moonrise Towers Posing as a true soul. Find out what it is that makes him invincible, so we can strip him of his advantage. Once Gatherick is without his shield, the sword, together we assault his tower and put a final end to this blight. Gatherick's days are numbered, I'll make sure of it. Without a cure for your infection, your days are number two. Yet you selflessly offer to spend them fighting alongside us. I like you. I promise I will do everything I can to make sure you survive this. Any cure starts with understanding the disease. Whatever magic Gatherick's using to control these tadpoles, it must be at Moonrise. Oh, I reach him. The tower is surrounded by shadows. You're not our only secret weapon. Isabel, a faithful cleric of Seluna, and a light in the darkness. She cast the moon shield around the inn. It's the only reason we're still alive. She's upstairs in her chambers. Tell her I sent you, and she'll see you through the shadows safely. Alright, so this is actually kind of a tough part of the game. And it really shifts a lot of how the game goes. So the main focus is, that blood? No, is to try to keep Isabel alive through this next part. So you can see, just, just looking at Isabel, she doesn't have a lot of health, 58. You know, it's pretty average on par with all of us. The difference is if she goes to zero HP, everything goes to shit. She instantly dies rather than going unconscious. But the big thing is AC 11. It's like you look at all of us and we've got, you know, AC a plenty. Um, but what we can do is we can uh, do some buffs for her. My magic so first of all, give her the scroll of mage armor. 
see, that'll bring her up to 14. And then, um... I'm actually going to put Shield of Faith on my list here. For her. It's going to be my concentration spell for her. Can't afford to stay idle. And then she's going to give her warding bond. We have a protection from good and evil. No. So let's get that for her. Alright, with that, Isabel should be fairly safe. That said, let's go ahead and do the... Uh, Bus for all the rest of the crew here. We're a long way from Waterdeep. Early, you can't sit right there. You're in the way. Thanks, girly. Got yeah, right there. Let's actually see. Can I give her a long strider? Sure can. Tempted to go down and give everybody else long strider, but I think that's uh, not necessary. All right. So yeah, a couple things to consider here as we go into the fight is that technically um, Isabel is not considered an ally. Um, she is a neutral party uh, when we do this fight. So that can get us in a little bit of trouble if we're not careful. But let's go ahead and uh, kick this off then. Got everything. Oh, you know what? Actually, I think one with the weave. It's uh, this still good. That's the one thing I was missing. Where's my shield? Must have accidentally sold my shield. No one back home will ever believe this. It's fine, I'll find a shield. Anyway. I didn't realize I had an audience. The true soul who's going to save us all. I'm Isabel. Pleased to meet you. Parasite of true soul, but not the mind of it. Bully for us. We've been waiting, hoping against hope. For someone like you free from the absolute's influence 
yet able to walk among cultists. It's almost too good to be true. But I'd be a poor cleric indeed not to avail of a blessing when I see one. Let me guess. Jahir has sent you to beg a protection spell of her favorite cleric. Perfect. It'll make you immune to the lesser effects of the Shadow Curse, which will get you closer to the towers. But there are places it won't help. Places where the curse is darker, stronger. The cultists are able to traverse even the deepest shadows, though. I don't know how. The Harpers are trying to figure it out. Salunite magic. Dark Lady, forgive me. Good nose. Like a nasty little terrier. Anything else I should know before heading off? Ketherick is a frightening man. But you have something he doesn't. Allies worth having. While you're busy in the towers, I'll be sure to... Wait. Do you hear that? Something's wrong. Isabel? Marcus, is that you? What's happened to you? I've been blessed. You can be too. Come with me, and you can hear all about it from Ketherick himself. Well, do you know this man? He's a flaming fist. Or was. He came with the others when we created this haven. And I thank you for your hospitality. True soul, my instructions are clear. Take the girl to Ketherick, alive. I'm trying to probe his mind for information. Easy. A haunting face swims into your mind's eye. Its instructions vivid in your mind. Nothing is more important than bringing the girl alive. What's going on? If you have something to say, say it. Marcus is trying to kidnap you, Isabel. We're going to need to fight our way out of this one. Pathetic. The Absolute sees all. Your treachery will be punished. The Absolute. Of course. You can't believe them, Marcus. Ketherick will never give you whatever it is you've been promised. He already has. Time to go, Isabel. Paralyzed is not good.
Get rid of that paralysis. So all those hits are not auto crits. Adds up over time. Why are you giving everybody three shots at you? I don't quite understand. Okay, and so now you're gonna go walk next to one. Okay. No. Whatever. There's a might. No. Yes. Oh, there you go. And knocked him down. That's awesome. Free HP left. Okay, well. Could be worse. You are a raider. Legendary. Heyo. Mr. Beanbot with the raid. Hey there, how's it going? You'll make excellent fertilizer. Long time no chat. How you doing, buddy? Always good to see ya. And welcome in raiders. My name is Jason. So far, the stream's going good. Um, renewing a uh, Baldur's Gate 3 campaign that I haven't played for a little while, so. Looking forward to getting getting a little bit more progress done with it. Hey, it's you. I'm getting stir crazy here. Please tell me we're going in. Being bought with the double gifted subs. Hey, Thank you. you. I'm getting stir crazy here. Please tell me we're going in. By the way, I love that uh, that voice thing. I always forget that that's on there. That's a quote from uh, World of one of uh, World of Warcraft, the uh, World of Warcraft quest. There we go. And nope, nope, and nope. double kill. Nice job, Gail. Yeah, I'm a variety streamer. Um, I play a few different games. Baldur's Gate, Total War, Warhammer 2. I just started a Warcraft 3 campaign the other day that I'll be playing on and off. Baldur's Gate 3, definitely one of my main games. And we finished a huge Stardew Valley playthrough um, uh, over the weekend. So Eventually I'll be getting back into Stardew Valley, but we've taken a little break on that one for now. I recently added a sound alert to the channel. So we've got some, some sound alert options for people. Here's one of my favorite ones. Ew! <laughs> Let's see. I found my mom. Bruh. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. I like that one too. No time to waste. So name name of the game here is to keep Isabel alive. So far so good. But she is kind of exposing herself here on the balcony. I'm not a huge fan of, but what can you do? Cutting to the chase. Okay. 
think we've got them pretty much uh, handled at this point. We'll have her come out over here. Start making her way towards this one. We'll be just shy of it, but that's fine. How was your stream? What have you been up to lately? How are things at that place that we work together? I heard you guys had a cross training class. Unfortunately, you did it during my vacation, so I didn't really have a chance to, to hop in with y'all. I was like, oh, that's a shame. Slapping them around. Work's been okay. Been doing a lot of Elden Ring, and today we played Skater Ritual. Or Skater Ritual? I've never heard of it. What's that? What's that game all about? Heading there. like a ripoff of COD uh, zombies. Gotcha. Nah, I don't need crits. Okay. One health. Okay, maybe I did need the crit to finish him off. It's okay. I'm sure she's gonna go finish him off. Nice. See, Isabel can defend herself. Very well. Let's go ahead and uh, do a misty step down there. There's a parasite in that corpse. Brimming with potent magic. All right, well, we did it. We saved Isabel. Isabel, are you all right? I'm fine. <clears throat> Marcus has been with us since the start. They've been tracking us this whole time. And that was no random attack. You were the target, Isabel. They know how important you are. But they don't know about you. Ketherick will strike again. We need you to strike first. Discover the source of his invulnerability. Make him mortal so we can make him bleed. Good luck. It can bleed. We're in more danger it can than die. you. If something happens to me, everyone in this inn is dead. Like that. I won't let that happen. Let's hope your cunning is as strong as your optimism. You're the key to all of this. Once I take Catherick's head, you'll be safe again. No mercy. For Ketherick will have none on you. End this. All right. Oh, wait, no, I needed to... And my haste is down. Okay, I needed to... Loot the body. Better be cautious. What part? 
nice before. Apparently it's considered stealing, even though he's a bad guy. So I sneak just briefly so I can get that. So that is where we get the uh, shifting corpus ring. Which is uh, kind of cool. It gives a blur and invisibility. A couple of neat uh, concentration spells. Let's see. Sure, for now we'll give that to Shadowheart. to reach moonrise and i have orders to help you the path to the towers is drenched in blackness so deep even a torch cannot drop to it. bed have an amazing yeah, stream thank you my have friend found a way to move freely you have a good night whatever this method it's good sleep hydrate it. all that good stuff boy crosses the land as we speak i've readied an ambush say the word and we fly let's take on that convoy you lead i'll follow splendid I'll mark your map should you lose the way. Harper's with me. Stray no more than an arm's length from your course. Alright, I'm gonna order some pizza real quick. Let's see. I'm putting together most of the stuff in my. Check out real quick. Get my pizza ordered. And place order. There we go. Okay, I didn't want to accept my payment information. I see how you are. Okay, so one of the things we want to do while we're over here is we want to make sure to come over here and get this uh, sigil so we can teleport back here later. So we can come back here a uh, later. A bit later. And this is where they're actually setting up the ambush. So that's perfect. I like it. All right. We bring more to your church every day, my queen. Your followers are legion. Go. We'll wait for your signal. Your faith will stand ready, Majesty. Soon we will march. Soon the world will bow to you. Here, where boss? Something moved up there. Want me to drag it out? I'll clear my throat and make myself known. What's this? 
The Drider's eyes cut through the darkness, locking on you as your parasite squirms with excitement. Your minds connect, and you hear a voice whispering to you. The absolute, or just the echoes of his fractured mind reverberating in the darkness. One of your true souls, my queen. How have they survived? The absolute protected me. You bless them too, my queen. Where is the lantern? The absolute guided me to you. He said I was to take yours. Didn't you get that memo? Yeah, that'll do. Majesty, is, is this true? Did I not serve you well? For anyone still hanging out Very from the raid, well. by the way, we do play the Pokemon if community is, game in here. Will have it. Good. You may go now. What do you mean, go? We can't go without you. The shadows will tear us to pieces. This is not Her Majesty's will. Okay, so deception's not bad. We got the plus three, but Oath of Vengeance. Let's, uh, if we got some good bonuses here, so we'll take that. Question me again, and I'll drag you into the darkness screaming. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> if it is a Majesty's will, you can't be serious. You know what's out there. If it is Her Majesty's will, then we shall walk! She will protect us. She... She must. Amazing. Majesty! I'd never believe it if I hadn't just seen it. Nicely done. Hey. Let's see what we've got here. No problem. So they dropped the moon lantern. The lantern gives off a chilly glow, protecting all in its vicinity from the surrounding shadows. Incredible magic. I can feel the light lifting the shadows, even those within me. Be safe and be brave. We expect no less. You notice a tiny pixie trapped within. These fey creatures are infamous for their trickery. Sometimes playful, sometimes malicious. <laughs> oh please, oh golly, me oh my. You must release me or I'll die. This lantern only lights the way when I am hurting night and day. I will release the fix. Finally! Been trapped in that coffin with no one but a mad rider and my own farts for company. Did me a good turn there, didn't you? What do I owe you? Nothing. I know I'd want a shot. I'd, I'd want a shot, a revenge. A shot at revenge? Did I just find a typo in the game? I gotta send, I gotta send this to Larian immediately. <laughs> I gotta clip that now. No, I'd want a shot at revenge. If I was trapped, only fair to free you. Butter wouldn't melt. Well, look, I won't have you tracking me down in the Fey looking for tuppence. Let's finish this fair and square. Here, give this 
Bella Shake. Speak the magic words and you'll get what you've earned. Protection from the Shadow Curse. What more could a dingus want? You're welcome. No, 22, no problem. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. You know, I probably should heal up. Hmm. Let's go this. Let's get going. On my way. Yeah, that's not such a fun interaction. Let's go down. Here instead, and down to there. So, from what I understand, we have the lesser protection of the curse currently. So, as soon as we step through here, I think it it becomes uh, so. Like past this point is the greater shadow curse that we're not protected from. Oh, maybe not. Enormous. No, I think we're okay. Sweet. So there's a couple of really easy encounters over here that we can focus on. And also we can come over here and get the uh, get the teleportation sigil. So while we're still level six, we don't want to push ourselves too hard these encounters but first of all we got some free xp we can farm up here just by climbing to the top and you can see look it's all those guys we sent into the shadow curse oh what they can see us from up here unbelievable guess maybe i didn't sneak enough now Still, we're still going to be able to get quite an advantage in the battle. Man, I hate having to fight this stupid guy. They must have patched this. So they're like, oh, what they're doing is just too cheesy. <laughs> My turn. Well, there you go. Oh. Have to keep going. Give up, Laura. I have the high ground. This is my time. Coming through. Critical hit, critical miss. Fair enough. Now, minimum damage, two there. Good. Here, let's try to kill that one, then. There we go. It, it's still pretty... Easy XP, in my opinion. This is going to be one of our easiest fights that we've ever fought, but it's not quite as easy as that. Normally, you can just stand up here and just plink at them until they're dead. 
Um, but that that is particularly cheap and cheesy, I think. Coming through. Yeah, get back over there. I didn't give you permission to come up here. I won't quite be able to reach him. No, we're good. Now he should be reachable. That guy just can't figure out a way to get uh, out from where he is. Path lies before me. He's like, well, I'm down here now. This is where I live. I'll tell you what, he's not nearly as annoying. Eventually. No holding back. My faith will protect me. And there we go. Let's see, uh, we need another forty two hundred. So light on my feet. Seventy five here and there, and it'll add up. They didn't really uncheesify that battle very well. They just made it more annoying to deal with. Something good here, I hope. Am I too close to them? We're okay. So we'll come over here, so we can get the teleporter to Moonrise Towers. Moonrise Towers lies ahead. We're close. I 
can feel it. The absolute. Its power is strong here. This one is pretty cheesy. Nine hells are you? Son of Thorn! Son of Sword Coast! Go on! Choose! Bottoms up! Go not. Was this once a man? The shadows have corrupted him beyond comprehension. Pick up the tankers. Leaning in, you can see how the creature's skin barely holds it together. The bulge of its belly is on the cusp of bursting wide open. Oh, look at the thing. A few more tastes of its own medicine and it'll burst. Go on, drink. Make it drink. Be drunk. To our good health. A lot of bonuses on the saving throw, none on the slide of hand. So we're gonna go with it. We're gonna drink the brewer. Woo! We're gonna drink with the brewer. And then we'll also get resistance from her. Yeah, we'll call that good. Could be dual. Oh no, not the nat one though. Should be dual. Bottom nat one! Yeah, so six should be plenty, I think. Yeah. 16. Nailed it. The liquid burns your throat as you swallow, but otherwise you feel no ill effects. So I've got a plus three perform to performance. If you I ascended a great tower infused with the most powerful of magic. Nope. That's not gonna work. I am dark. My father's tower grazed the new moon! Yours means zero. Spin a more fantastic fable! Entertain! Engross! Amuse me! Or be amusement. A little better with deception. We'll go with the spine of the world. That'll do it. Twenty-five. Such a trick for the sake of a view. I will drink to your iron knees. You ask, you drink, then you amaze, infuse 
Place the curse on this land. Father Catherine created. Father Catherine sustains. Bring it in. Toss it down. Rub it up. How did you become what you are now? Father Catherine's laughter. Not joy. Not ever. Questions done, finished, over, only drink. I'll go ahead and drink again. I'll add resistance once again. Uh oh. Three's a little low. Couldn't quite recover that, even with the four on the on the resist on the D4 for resistance. A little too low. We'll try that again. There we go, 29. Your belly rumbles as the vile brew fills it, yet your mind remains miraculously steady. More story! Tell me a false fell. Villains vanquished. Beast bastard. Owl bear mother lunged at me. I slaughtered it in reply. Oh, not the natural one. No. We all have owl bear mothers. No more blood, blood, but I'll give me blood, or I take it. I disemboweled a Baylor with its own pointed horn. No, that is not high enough. Silly girl. Let's try again. Nope, that also is not going to be high enough. I think we might be losing the plot here. Nope, yeah, just low rolls. Well, darn. So yeah, he's a level 6, so he's not... He's not uh, ridiculously high up there, but a lot of health. Interesting. Physical damage has added gas. The this of all special brew. I think we use Roaring Belch. I've never had to fight him before, so let's see what happens. Where are all these guys? There. Let's have some fun. Let's try to kick things off with one of these. Of course. Sound the retreat on the victor's path. Was actually able to move back. That's something. Finding my way. Ready. On my way. 
And that's not really where I meant to go, but all right. Your worst. Still got so much health. Yeah, it's easier to just uh, move. get him with the RP win. But this is my time. Not possible this time. Two steps at a time. I'm ready. Schmooping. All right. Into poison and the product. Good to know. Stick that in your undead fortitude. Double miss. Skip. Earth is he going? Out 
flank. Outsmart. On the victor's path. Trying to go up and around. Oh, maybe because when I pushed him down, it blocked him from going up the stairs because he's too fast. Lord, he coming. Yep, okay, everybody line up in a nice line. Let's get this over with. Wonder if the gods are watching me. That's perfect. On my way. The blade will not bend. Whoa. Wow. Okay, so don't let him get near you is what I'm saying. Time, time to do some kiting. Probably not far enough. Yeah, no. Still gonna get to her. Ooh, but he missed. But he had multi-attack, and he missed twice.
Do I have to shove? Got it. Hmm. The thing is, he is immune to bludgeoning. point everybody just died him Nope, still not far enough. Whoops. My bad. Hmm. I didn't realize how big that explosion was. Let's try this. Why not? Can't I push him back there? Don't. Rotten reflux. Rotting regurgitation. That doesn't sound good at all. Look out, girly. Let's just get a little up here and out of the way. Talk to me. And then uh, for her end, do I have a scroll of misty steps somewhere? I'm sure, I do. I usually do. Yeah. Let's get that over to Shadowheart. We can get the heck out of Dodge here. There is 
work to do. A little help, please. Can't give up now. Well, normally that's a much easier encounter. In this case, it was tougher because uh, Mind. Sleep reasons C couldn't uh, couldn't get through the uh, stuff there. All right, so we're gonna do the short rest, and, and we'll have her do preserve life. Have a lot on my mind, and well, yeah, I'll drink a it. couple of potions. Which, by the way, let's put those up a little bit. That seems a little ridiculous. So let's sit down and have. Third level spell. What am I needed? All right. So yeah, this one's not. It wasn't too bad, but I don't usually have to fight that one, especially when we got a face in the party. Oh, really terrible. Charlie, what are you doing? What are you doing up there? You don't have to come sit with me, Gurley, because, you know, my pizza's going to be here any minute, so I'm going to be getting up, grabbing a few slices, eating those. Well enough to wait. Join the line, and you will be seen. I don't have time to wait. I need to see the doctor right now. Yes, yes. But all must wait. The doctor's hands are full. Join the line. You will be seen. Still need help. Okay, well. <laughs> you endanger the sick. Plague, pest, in line, or leave. Plague. I just go over here. No. Okay. All right. Well then, let's go around over here.
sneak in from another entrance. No big deal. Alright, and another really fun to cheese encounter here. I've never failed to cheese this one. The objective of the scalpel sisters are peachy to For the see how the patient reacts when I but stroke the right nerve. Hear its comfort, hear the very melody of mercy. Pray, sister, show us the extent of your beneficence. Stop. Stay your hand, for it slaps where it should stroke. Perhaps it is our unexpected audience that makes you quiver. Come, step forward. You are no sister, but that matters none. Every student is welcome. Student, yes, please do enlighten me. Absence. Absence. It is the scalpel-led journey that leads from pain to peace. Gods, a living nightmare is this. See, what is the light of eyes but the cancer that causes one to witness the laceration of being? If light is the symptom, then darkness is the cure. In light is presence, in darkness, absence. But you, look how the sucker of Shah eludes. We do not wish to see you suffer so. Let us cure you. Sisters aren't ready. They'll make me sick instead of curing me. go nailed it their incisions are as yet still straight with imprecision how to steady their hands i wonder they need a better subject to practice on first not a student but a master this is a tough one but i got decent bonuses okay yeah there it is 23 Nailed it. I see now. By example, I must edify and quell the light that blinds us. Come, sisters, soothe me. <laughs> Use. All right, so we get a really cool um, necklace from that. The uh, surgeon's subrogation amulet. Amulet once per long rest. Uh, when scoring a critical hit, we get to paralyze them for two turns. So yeah, let's go ahead and give that to Gale. Hmm. No, nope, I changed my mind. Let's give it to. Uh, let's give it to Will, because he does crit often. He attacks more often. Defender of the people. And he has Misty Step in his arsenal already. Checking things out. Move. So from here, we're going to go up somewhere up here. There is a 
Da sah. Ja. What we going at north? So we'll go out this door. Now you can also kill all of the the sisters here if you want. Curse to put my hands on everything. Used key. You? Your twister Is that the kid Corgo went after? Seems she's learned a new trick. Sorry. It knocks the wind right out of me. What are you doing out here? It's not safe. I was looking. For mom and pops when zevlor when he well there was an ambush mom yelled run so we ran i could hear him run behind me till i couldn't still can't find him but i bet you can you'll help me i just know it i'll find your parents you can count on me thanks miss i knew you'd help me the vines won't last forever i don't i don't suppose i can stay with you just till you find mom and pops. I won't be any trouble, I swear it. Of course you can stay in my camp. Oh, thanks. You're the best. So you send mom and pops there. I'll be waiting, hero lady. Nope, that's the wrong way out. Let's see. There's the room we want. Something's on my mind. The doctor's found oblivion. His corpse. It's Arabella's father. The horror of his end I don't contemplate. That's all we really need. Now we're actually going to go north. Our hero thought but of treasure ahead, did not consider the peace of the dead. Through the dark she went creeping, and awoke what was sleeping. A new grave they dug, which she herself fed. You're saying there's treasure ahead? Ah, greed. My favorite virtue. I've grown quite fond of you, you know, in my way. I thought it only fair to warn you about the dangers ahead. And what dangers are those? Oh, <laughs> we both know they are soon to be revealed. It would be pointless of me to try to buy you from entering. But I can set the scene, as it were. Prepare you for your role. All right, well, I need to take a quick break. I need to use the restroom. And I think my pizza's here, so I will be right back.
they, uh, they sent me more pizza than I expected. Not necessarily a bad thing. I was just away longer because it took me longer to put it all away. All right. Fine. Paint me a picture. There is a stage but I'm back. down in the dark now with pizza. upon which a great drama has suspended itself in time. Its actors dwell there still, mired in the languor of their long, tired scenes. If you, however, through the dark, go creeping and awake what is sleeping, chances are many more graves than yours alone will soon be fed. Paint me a clearer picture than that. Fifteen, that'll still do, even though I rolled a three. Very well. There is a creature that lurks in silence and shadow. A creature who, like me, is very much of the infernal persuasion. Should it make its way out through the very doors you are about to brazenly swing open, you will have unleashed a pestilence upon this realm. In truth, it is carnage incarnate. So if you meet the devil of which I speak, kill it. Consider no other course of action. I'm going to try to make an insight check. I feel like he's only telling me half of what he really knows. Apparently I can't tell. Not worth an inspiration. Believe me, I am not telling you half of what I know. You have it in you to author a thrilling finale if, if you heed this warning. Do not underestimate this opponent. At best, you will have the blink of an eye to strike. Strike first, strike true, defy the odds, for they are distinctly in its favor. That much I owe the bastard to concede. After all, if there is one rule I hold dear, it's that one must always give the devil his due. All right. Well, really what we're doing though, is we're coming up here so we can get that or sigil unlocked. So now we go back to last light. And go back to camp. Go talk to Halson. Father's blessings to you. He is? Then I must see him. Insensible or not, he knows something. Thaniel is no ordinary child. He is the very spirit of this land. I will go to see him at once. Join me when you can. All right. So now we got him in on it. Matt Daniel. There's no other way he'd know that name. This is just what we needed. Well done. We need to wake him. He must know something about where to find Daniel. Found a loot. Seems to have belonged to a flaming fist. Good. Its music might help restore him. Show it to him. I'll pull out the loot and play a little. Oh, 
Samuel! He's still trapped there. He needs help. Calm. Breathe. <laughs> You've been trapped in the Shadowfell for a century. Take a moment to clear your mind. A century? Your whole sin. Nathaniel said to find you. You must help him. Please. I will. But I need to know where Thaniel is. If I venture into the Shadowfell blind, I will never find him. I'm not sure I can put it into words. The landscape there shifts and changes. I'll let Halson handle this. And, uh, whenever I saw Thaniel, I always smelled lavender. I can work with that. Rest now. Meet me by the lake shore. I have what we need to proceed. Lavender, but of I'll course. Need your help. Be ready. This may prove perilous. Oh, we forgot to talk to Maul. Damn it. Let that all fit in my pack. So we're going to do a long rest before we do this fight. This fight is rough. Capital R. Nice form. Or did you learn to dance like that? I've attended my share of fancy balls and masquerades. A few elegant moves can turn all the right heads. Figured it was time to brush up on my skills. I wouldn't want to fail my new partner. Trust me. I don't think you could fail anyone if you tried. I know a few people who might beg to differ, but the only one that matters is here with me now. May I have this dance? I will smile and bow. Not much for acrobatics. I will gather my strength and leap into the air. Let's do that. That sounds fun. Good enough. Bravo! <laughs> Bravo! I'll smile nervously. No need to be modest. You were a delight to behold. Now, perhaps we might try a more intimate style.
I'll invite him closer with a knowing look. That's what you both want. So much shadow around us. To think I almost missed the light. Well, it's getting late. We can't face the morrow if we don't bid farewell to the now. I was hoping we might spend the night together. I'm tempted. Trust me. I thought my heart might burst with every step. But I still keep faith in the old tales of love. The once upon a times and the happily ever afters. I like to do this the proper way the way of the old romances sung by the bards till next time good night and dream sweetly how very gallant No. No. No fun. No. No. Hey, you. You find mum and pops? Your parents are dead. I found their corpses. No. No, no, no. I don't believe you. I'm so sorry, Arabella. It isn't true. It isn't. Get away from me. Go. We'll give her some time to process. So we've got one fire wine barrel already right, here. Wait. Where the heck? Where's Halson? How sad. He's not over there. Hmm. Weird.
Well, the best place to use Barrowmancy, mind you. Alright. Who else is packed down with this stuff? Shadowheart certainly is. I don't think we gave any to Gale. Probably overkill, but it's but now where is house? Did he like go back into the inn? What is happening? Oh, there he goes. Okay. What's next? She's going to use a couple of big spells. And then she's also going to give us aid. that to Will, the mage armor, and then long strider to everybody. there slash you're here good now we can begin let's do this very well once I begin the ritual a portal to the shadow fell will open one that will help me save Thangle whatever happens I must go alone and what am I to do? With the Oak Father's blessing, I can infiltrate the Shadowfell, but doing so will sap my strength. I'll need your help if I'm to return. I need you to stay here. Keep the portal open until I return, and defend it at all costs. You can count on me. Good. Now it's important that only I pass through the portal once it opens. The magic is fragile. Any mistake, and our one chance will be lost forever. It took me years of study, of seeking the Oak Father's favor, to find a way to part the veil. Pray that this works. We're we talking about the blue veil? Hear me. Aid me. Force open the jaws of darkness. That'd make you a much higher spellcaster than I expected. Light. It's ready. I'll return with Thaniel as soon as possible. Stay close to the portal. Buy me what time you can. All right. Here they come.
So we want to draw them in a little bit before we set this off. But we're just going to start with haste for Kelms here. That's it. Let them all come on in. Oh, wow. Going right after. That one is going to get a shot off. He already came out a little bit. It's a bummer, but that's okay. Be fine. So for him, we want to let everyone else come in. So it does have a lot of health, so. I'm not going to be able to one-shot them from over here. Into Necrotic Camp. Oh, of course they are. And the miss. You know what? Go ahead and get rid of this guy. I didn't get to do my crit. There we go. Oh! Yeah, there we go. And there it is. All right, here we go. Yep, that pretty much uh, did what I wanted it to. Beautiful. Alrighty. So next up, she is going to cast Spirit Guardians. See, I don't want her to go into the fire, so she's just gonna stay right there. And yeah. What? Oh my god. You gotta be kidding me. How the heck did you live? She's gonna go into the fire. She's not afraid. 
You know, the fire and the flames. Oh, it, did it not hit those Harpers back there? What the hell? Okay, well. They are still going to have to dash to get in range. They ran right around me. They didn't even give me an attack of opportunity. I'm gonna go through the fire. Speaking of fire. These guys are the biggest threats, these Harpers with the ranged. We gotta take them off the board, otherwise they will just shoot this thing down. Um, let's see. Oh man, that one is still really healthy. So healthy anymore. Now it's out of range to hit over there. That's bad. I'll have it come back then so we can get ready to attack these guys. Oh, by the way, this is still up. Is all that matters. Fall by my hand. There we go. With haste. All right, so the fire has been put out for now. Actually, before we do that, let's do this. That one first. That's all for him. Start with a turn undead. That one's turned, so we're gonna leave it for right now. Oh, these guys are turned, but I bet they die. No, oh, maybe not. That one died. Just... 
so we're not going to attack that one because it's burnt up. Right, it's going to run away, so. Where is it? Oh, okay. It wanted to run over there. That's not where I wanted it to run. All right. Well, I guess it gets to choose where it runs. Ready. Seems simple enough. Should have done that first. Still in the wrong order. I don't think I can really push it anywhere. Nope. I wonder if this is worth the cost. There we go. Killed them all before the last round of combat. Beautiful. Oh. Now that's how you do that fight. It's done. I have him. But something's wrong. Dreadfully wrong. No. It can't be. Is he dead? No. But some part of him is... missing. He's... hollow. I need to examine him back at the camp. Come see us when you can. All right. So a whole lot of stuff to, interesting. to grab here. But uh, I think that's a good stopping point. We've been going for over well over three hours here. Even if I count that long break for me to grab my pizza. So I am going to go ahead and uh, get call it for this episode. If you guys are watching this on YouTube, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode.